Alrighty, we are going to be taking a look at this really awesome cutaway Schlag Primus lock. We're actually going to see how this thing comes apart, what makes it tick, and all of the moving parts and pieces inside here. This is an ultra complex lock that has a significant amount of moving parts when compared to the average pin tumbler lock. First of all, we go ahead and undo the Phillips head screw that holds on the tailpiece or the drive cam. Then we insert the key, rotate 90 degrees, making sure that the cutaway portion does not go towards the top where the pins are. Then we pull out the sidebar. This is what makes it more complex than a typical average lock. We've got two springs that hold that sidebar up and away until the finger pins meet the shear line. So there is a secondary shear line. We have the typical shear line of the average pin tumbler lock, and then you also have these finger pins on the side that interact and engage with the side milling on the key itself. And that's some of the differences between Schlag Primus and Schlag Everest. Everest only has a check pin in the back in most cases. Schlag Primus has all this, all cuts. I believe there's five different cuts for the finger pins. And then the finger pins come out. When they're all lined up correctly, the sidebar is allowed to fall into that, um, that void and you meet your secondary shear line. That's what makes these extremely difficult to pick. I do believe that there have been some videos out there, however, running into one of these locks out in the wild and actually being able to pick it would be a completely different thing, I personally believe. Now we're going to rebuild the lock cylinder. We've removed the top pins and the springs, and I'm now rebuilding it and inserting those back in. Now we're going to take a look at that sidebar. This is what makes the lock very, very, very pick resistant and to where you have to have specialized key blanks with that custom side milling to actually open them. Now we're gonna put the finger pin springs back in their position and the finger pin as well. With Schlage Primus, the cuts coincide with the depth of the finger pins. So the sidebar pattern doesn't change. The pins and the way they engage with the key, much like they engage with the cuts on the top of the key, these engage with the cuts on the side of the key. And a tip for re-keying it helps to hold the finger pins in place because they're going to try and dump out of there and then they're going to try and jump out when you try and load the key pins in as well. However, if you insert the key and engage the finger pins in the side milling, then it holds it in place so you can continue to put springs and load the finger pins in their place. Now you can begin to see the added complexity of this lock with all of the additional springs, the additional pins, the additional milling in the side of the key. It definitely is a significant step above a conventional pin tumbler lock. Finishing loading the rest of those finger pins in place. And then we take a look at the finger pins, making sure that they line up in the center for the sidebar, allowing the sidebar to fall into that particular void. And the springs hold the sidebar out until it lines up. And then you put rotation on the plug and the sidebar collapses into the plug. Now we load the key pins back in their place and be ultra careful to slide the plug in correctly and 
the last screw in along with the tailpiece or drive cam. And now you have successfully re-keyed or taken apart and reassembled the Schlage Primus and all of its wonderful moving parts. Now for the part everyone has been waiting for, how do you enter to win this awesome cutaway Schlage Primus lock? Well, we are teaching a access control installation class this Sunday from noon to four. If you sign up starting now, between now and Sunday at noon when class starts, you will be entered to win. We will gather your contact information and then we will enter you into the contest. Sign up using the Calendly link below and register today. That registration is your entrance ticket into the drawing. Then we will use Google Randomizer to randomize the numbers and select a winner. Your entrance number will be based on your registration. So the first to enter starts off with number one, and then the last person is the last number. So register today. Thank you.